Okay, so it's been a bit since I've done a desk setup video, and honestly, it's something I really enjoy doing. Every space is a blank canvas where you can go all out or really just keep things simple and minimal. Today, I'll be showing you this minimal PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X desk setup. This sort of setup is perfect for small spaces and really it's just meant for gaming. In my living room, I really enjoy gaming on my LG C2 OLED, but having a family, it's not always available to me. So in this setup, I decided to also use an LG C2 OLED as well for my display. Today, I'll be talking about this setup and I'll be jumping into the desk itself, my accessories, gaming of course, and my cable management. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. On this channel, I cover gaming, tech, and a few things in between. So if you enjoy the video, be sure to like or subscribe. If you don't, you'll lose one of your two earbuds today. Okay, so jumping right in, I want to talk about the desks first since this is really the foundation to just about every single setup. The one I have here is the FlexiSpot EW8M standing desk which they were kind enough to send out for this project. In this setup I went with the white base with a maple top as I felt like brightening up the space a little bit more with the lighter wood. In terms of size, I don't have a lot of space so I went with a modest 4x2 feet since I really don't have much space here. I will say this was the fastest desk I ever put together and since the desktop is already assembled all I had to do was throw the legs on. You can choose different desk sizes and colors between the desktop and the frame itself, but again, I kind of wanted to go with a lighter wood for this setup. And as a decrepit aging millennial, I try to stand as much as possible, so this is perfect for the longer gaming sessions. You can set up to three heights, which can be programmed with any one of the three presets, and you can have it set to anywhere between the lowest and highest setting, and this is perfect for kids or anybody who's super tall. Plus, it's super quiet when it is moving. I have mine set to sitting, standing, and my wife has her own height setting since she's only like five feet tall. And an absolute beautiful beautiful feature here is that there's a child lock. I do have a two-year-old who presses every and any button in sight, so luckily this helps prevent her from messing around with her settings. There's also two USB ports and a Type-C here, which is awesome for charging stuff up. I usually just have some cables kicking around the drawer to charge my controllers, phone, or iPad, or whatever else I have. The drawer itself is rather shallow, but definitely fits cables, batteries, books, and whatever sort of knickknacks you might need. For myself, I kind of had to load some snacks into this to give me that peak gamer performance. And overall, the desk itself is super sturdy all all the way through sitting or standing and it's definitely the perfect foundation for just about any desk setup but jumping over to my monitor which is actually a tv this is the 42 inch lg c2 oled for me this setup is meant for console gaming only so this ended up being the perfect pairing it's well sized and looks amazing and having used the c2 oled in my living room setup for almost a year plus using an oled in my pc setup it's hard not to appreciate the benefits of an oled display this tv gives me four hdmi 2.1 ports for 4k and high refresh gaming and hooked up to this beast are both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. When it comes to gaming on here, it's easy to say games look beyond incredible. Being able to play games at a high refresh in HDR is an absolute awesome way to game. And if you've ever seen my LG C2 OLED review, you know this TV includes a sweet menu that allows you to see your current frames per second, as well as additional menu features. I've been spending a good amount of time playing through Hogwarts Legacy on here, and whether it's true 4K, upsampled, desampled, whatever sampled, it still looks really, really good. And honestly, that's all I really want in a gaming setup. And jumping into games like Modern Warfare 2, there's zero noticeable input lag and it's legitimately instant. With FreeSync support, there's zero artifacting or graphical issues too while gaming, so all around, it does an incredible job. Of course, being a TV and not a monitor, there is no display port at all, so if I wanted to hook up a PC at a later date, I'd have to use HDMI. I think I'll just be keeping it to consoles only since more isn't always better for me in this situation. Plus, I really just want to keep this desk setup a game-only zone. And I will say as well, unlike any monitor, the speakers on this TV are actually amazing considering it's a 42-inch display. But maybe I'll do a whole dedicated video about using this as a monitor, but between the two gaming consoles, my go-to for the last while has definitely been the PlayStation 5. There's nothing wrong with the Xbox Series X at all, but I've been on Xbox or PC since 2006, and the PlayStation is a nice change of pace. For me, the DualSense controller and the latest DualSense Edge have been awesome to use while gaming, and I really appreciate the PlayStation exclusives that have launched like Spider-Man, God of War Ragnarok, and The Last of Us. I got my PlayStation 5 about a year ago, and as a busy dad, I haven't quite completed Horizon Forbidden West, which is the game that came with my PS5, and my game backlog continues to grow, and it's a good problem to have, I guess. And as I mentioned, I've been really enjoying Hogwarts Legacy the most as of late, which, as most of these games do, really show how amazing the LG C2 looks. I still grind out a good chunk of Call of Duty on here as well, and for me, compared to some story-based games, my go-to when it comes to anything competitive is to sit down at a desk and have a pseudo-monitor setup. That said, I do spend a whole lot of time on my Xbox Series X as well, and I actually use this more when playing with my buddies for the sole fact that it has Discord integration. 
Plus, I still love me some Forza. It's just one of those games you can really chill out and drive around without any particular goal in mind. I just downloaded Hi-Fi Rush as well and High on Life, which are both apparently really good, but I haven't quite gotten around to them yet. I did end up trying Hi-Fi Rush with my toddler, which she loved the most. And yes, I'm one of those people who still play Halo Infinite regularly. I kind of dig not having crazy loadouts like Call of Duty sometimes, but that's just me. As well, I find myself playing more Overwatch on Series X since most of my buddies are on PC, so it's definitely easier to communicate with them with Discord. Plus, with the Xbox Series X or S comes Game Pass, which is still one of the best values in gaming. And between both of these systems, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X give a brilliant gaming experience, and it's nice to have a dedicated no work zone. But to add to the whole space though, I do want to talk about my accessories in the setup since it really does help round out the whole space. First thing I want to mention is the felt desk mat I have here from Amazon, which helps break up the desk aesthetically. I really love the look and feel of the felt, so it's really nice to have this in the setup. Like I mentioned, the C2 OLED has some awesome speed speakers for the size, but when it comes to gaming competitively, I've been using the Sony H3 headset since they released, and honestly, for the cheaper version of all of their headsets, it's actually pretty good. That and they're super lightweight. I can't say they're premium quality at all, but they serve the purpose well enough and they're just fine. I like to keep them on this wooden hand from Ikea, which honestly has been one of the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. This hand can be used for headsets, controllers, and more. It can even hold a bag of milk without any issue at all. I do, however, put my controllers on this solid white oak stand from Geek Made Design. Again, I love all natural materials and this simply exudes quality craftsmanship. These are made to order and are rather pricey, but I've been eyeing these for over a year and my wife actually got me this one as a gift, but I'll definitely be getting a walnut version for my office setup. And of course, you can't forget the snacks. Judge me or don't, 20 bucks of snacks for a mini concession stand in a setup is totally worth it. Lastly, my chair is an autonomous Ergo Chair Pro, which has been absolutely ravaged by my 15 year old cat. Still, it's super comfortable, it does the job, and I love this chair dearly. It's actually the same one I have in my office. Talking about cable management, it wasn't really hard to do with this setup since I only have four things plugged in, which makes me realize how overkill this power strip is. Either way, my goal isn't for cable management to be pretty, I simply just don't want to see the cables. And even the C2 OLED has clips included if you do want to manage cables on the rear end of your TV. But for this cable management, I just simply used command strips to mount everything to the bottom side of the desk, and these are god tier useful for the cost. Plugged into this are the two consoles and the TV and the standing desk itself. Cable management is always easier to do with the standing desk too since you can just roll your chair right under and get to work. I got a basic cable management kit on Amazon as well to keep each cable bundled and clipped underneath and out of sight. With this, the entire setup has just one single cable leading to the wall and everything else is super clean. And that's the setup. Overall, it's clean and minimal and again, I really just dig that it's meant for gaming only, no computer or anything else. If anyone is sitting here, it's just to relax with some snacks and games. Obviously there could be more to this setup, but more isn't always better. For now, I'll be trying to finish Horizon Forbidden West since I'm just about at the end and getting more time on Hogwarts Legacy. I appreciate you watching till the end, till next time.